Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner tonight, weighing in at 70.2 kilos, with a record of 20 fights for 13 wins. From Team Walton and Compton, trained by Stephen Elliott Compton, ladies and gentlemen, Brad the Weapon Walton! And his opponents in the main title event of the evening tonight. Fighting out of the blue corner and weighing in at 70.4 kilos. 21 fights for 10 wins. From high up Muay Thai, trained by Nick Trask, ladies and gentlemen, John Warchild Ruinda! Giving their final instructions, and uh, here we go. This is bound to be a good one. So Brad Walton in the red, Jordan Rollander in the blue. Both guys uh, set to uh, throw a few big spinning things, a few jumping things. Let's see if they uh, if they uh, keep it together or they uh, they just let it go wild. So it'll be interesting to see. My, my take is Brad might come out a bit slower. Jordan's going to come out firing. And no. Brad's really taking it straight up to him, straight away. Throwing elbows everywhere. He's outside the ropes already. These boys are here to bang. They are not here to play around. Brad looking very, very, very aggressive. Very determined and focused. Jordan just trying to uh, find his range and sort of get out of the way. Copping a few knees to the head there. And uh, back straight back into it. Brad taking a bit of a fall. Brad already throwing spinning elbows. Coming in with the elbows. Jordan weathering the storm. I'd like to know what his game plan is. Maybe it's just to let Brad wear himself out a little bit, but uh, he might, uh, as long as he doesn't get caught with one of those spinning elbows early on, he should be right. Very tough fighters, both these guys. Except for COVID, they've both been very uh, busy in the fight scene. So uh, Jordan did have a little bit of time off a little while ago, but he's uh, been back in fire and training hard out of... Uh, Hard out with uh, Nick and the boys, Nick Trask and the boys over at Hard Out Motor. Brad uh, obviously open, owns his own gym, Oy, and he just puts you down in the corner. And uh, Ben Holly counting him out, giving him a standing eight count. Oh, yeah. Jordan's gotten some, uh, gotten some. Um, and there's the end of the first round. Jordan got a little bit of confidence out of that and came back strong in that last 10 seconds. So, so if we uh, score that one with that with that standing eight count, we uh, Jordan walks away with a 10 out of that round, and Brad walks away with a nine. So we're at 10 nine to Jordan at this stage. Brad's looking very, very good, training, uh, he has his own gym as I alluded to before, um, on the north side of Brisbane. He's also uh, travelling in and training with uh, Steve and Elliot Compton now. Uh, Elliot not long, just fought overseas and uh, and Steve and Elliot, very strong fighting, fighting gym down at uh, Compton, Compton Training Centre. So. Uh, 
Brad reaching out to them and training with those guys now uh, for his fights. And uh, here they go, round two, ready to go again. Brad mixing it up, left hand, southpaw, orthodox. He sort of fights out of everything. Very exciting fighter when he hits his straps. He slowed up this round a little bit. Jordan, Jordan's finding his range. Both fighter giving each other a bit of respect, knowing that either of them could knock either, the other one out in any in any moment here. Nice leg kicks. We better start checking those or else they're gonna start hurting the next few rounds. Both both fighters' legs just uh, showing a little bit red with those kicks. Hands over the top. Brad trying to work out uh, what he's going to do with him. He, I think he might have thought Jordan was going to be a bit of a pushover in the first round, but uh, it wasn't to be. Brad coming in, landing with an elbow that misses, grabs a very awkward style of grappling, some high knees to the head. Jordan wearing him, pushing out, getting him out, guarding up. Looks like he's been cut just under the right eye. Ooh, nice body shot over the top to the head. Elbow coming over there. Brad finding a little bit of uh, confidence out of that blood that's coming in that the elbows might be working. I don't think that's really going to bother Jordan too much. He, uh, getting some instructions from the corner. Uh, Stephen Elliott in the uh, in the uh, shot there. Doctor just uh, being called in to have a look at that uh, eye, see whether or not they can get that blood to stop. And blood in the eye. Doctor doesn't seem to be too perturbed. If it uh, as long as they can control that bleeding. Okay, seconds down. We go around to the next round. Round three. Might not be under his eye. Might be on top of his eye. He cut. can hear the, uh, some fireworks going off in the background. Oh, nice right hand by Brad, straight, straight through the middle of the guard, and he knocks him down. Couple of punches, sending Jordan to the canvas. Just returning that standing eight from last round. Here we go, Bray getting some confidence, moving straight in for the attack and the kill. Wanting to finish it early, perhaps. I don't think Jordan's got that on his mind though. So. Oh, and there we go, another elbow. And uh, Ben Holly, the referee, has called the fight off with uh, blood trickling everywhere. And uh, there's a barrage of elbows from uh, Brad. So. There we go, well done to Brad Walton beating Jordan Rolander for the South Pacific Super World Away full tie rules title.
Well done. Jordan will have a few uh, little cuts there. And uh, as I say, in the background, you can hear there's some fireworks going off uh, for the end of the night. Uh, and then uh, somewhere over there, they'll have some uh, some little monster trucks going uh, shortly. So, uh, coming back to the uh, official decision with Brad Walton walking away with the, the South Pacific Super Waterway title. From all of us here at uh, Fighting and Bucking, we uh, want to thank you for your support. We want to thank our sponsors, um, and we'd like to uh, uh, thank you for the first one here. Good work to Ian Bronson and his team to putting all of the uh, event on, the terrific fights. And uh, you can see uh, Brad and Jordan in shot now. Well done to those guys.